since you last tell me what this play is about. The play is, oh gosh, I'm still discovering that through rehearsal. She must just show herself for what she is. I want, you know, I would love to do that scene again so to see if there's, you know, if you can find that, you know. Yeah. And I think it's about how there is no answer. That no matter how hard the struggle is, there is always going to be some ambiguity in the pursuit of a political end. The war that set me free would be just, and I have a right to call for it. It's, it's about, do I put to death a person whose living presence may, may act as a threat to my own life? If I put her to death by doing that, do I create a threat to my own life? It will be seen as gracious by all people, and they will love you for it. Blot her out afterwards in whatever means you want. My character learns what her true destiny is. I find my special purpose, and it's bigger than I dreamed. I thought that I could conceivably be the queen of three countries, but it's a different kind of legacy that I end up leaving. So by ancient custom, no Englishman may testify against a Scot in court. No Scot against an Englishman. This curious law was bred by necessity. Anne has this remarkable outward intensity and Suzanne has a wonderful way of pulling the world in to her incapable of reverence and bringing things to her in a very playful and almost mischievous way and I think that really suits Elizabeth well whereas Anne's emotional outgoingness really suits Mary Victor's one of my favorites for this reason he trusts actors to do their work it's like he's a gardener. Yeah. He lets you grow, and he trusts the process. That's a big help to me because it just keeps ratcheting it up instead of doing that. You have always been honest with me. Be so now. Tell me on your conscience. Is this or is this not the law of England? It is, my lady. To keep the tension going with your characters, do you guys start fights and rehearsal and stuff? All the time. Yeah. We're All really method that way. <laughs> this is the first time I've spoken to her in weeks. <laughs> When you're doing a very serious play, you want to laugh a lot in rehearsal, and we are. <laughs> and then what's lovely about that is everybody relaxes with each other. Uh, and then when you focus in on the work, they're comfortable enough to really go where they have to go in the serious stuff. Um, he's a lord. I don't mean that he suddenly becomes this yoke. But he still has to be, he still has to carry... Uh, I don't want it to suddenly appear like he's saying to you, I'm a killer. Right, 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 That's right, right, what right, you right, right. And if you were to wake me... One morning with the news that Mary Stewart had died in the night. Depend on me. How soon can I expect my sleep to be more easy? Why do you think this play is still relevant? Because nothing's changed. Nothing has. In over 500 years, it's all the same stuff. Politics versus power. What's real power? Who really runs the show? The wonderful thing about a classic is you look back at what somebody wrote hundreds of years ago and you go, oh, wait a minute. This is not new to us, this kind of uh, manipulation and, and, and machinations that happen in government. And it should help us go, okay, if this has been happening forever and ever, what are we going to do about it? Don't miss the London and Broadway smash hit variety calls A Juicy Regal Smackdown. Mary Stewart. Now through October 9th, tickets at acttheater.org.